Hi, good day to you. This is Michael from Asia Virtual Solutions. Uh, today is the first day that uh, X Evil um, version 6 beta was launched. And this is also the first X Evil which will be standalone or on its own or with X Rumor. So I'm going to show you how to update your current uh, X Evil and X Rumor uh, so you can, if you have subscribe to the beta program and what is the step that you need to take then to update we will show you how to how to update uh, if you want to run both or if you just want to run X Evil as a standalone so follow follow with me we log into your botmaster account and you will see now this uh, first one is a program called X off uh, if you want to run <coughs> Excuse me, if you want to run X Evil on its own without, without X Rumor, then you need this. You will also see the new X Evil uh, 6, which is beta 1. And then this new patch here for if you want to continue running with both, then you need to download this patch and just patch your X Evil, uh, your, uh, your um, X Rumor as normal. So for me, I'm not really gonna do gonna run X Rumor anymore because I was only using it for the X Evil part on the specific VPS that I'm updating now. But I'll show you both options. So we download three files. We download this X off. Okay, and it's downloading there, and we want to download. Okay, I'm back. Alright. And the third one is we want to download the new X Evil. Okay, we'll just wait for them to finish downloading the X update. Okay, so we'll just wait for the download to complete. Seems everybody is connecting to this X Rumor service, bot master service to download the updates. Okay, and uh, looks okay. So let's continue. Um. So I got everything downloaded now. I can close the browser. Uh, just refresh this to get a little of that. Okay, so if if you want to just patch up, uh, patch your X Rumor, I'm sure by now you know how to do that. Do that. I'll show you in any way, in the, so you can know again, see it again. You extract it to the X Rumor folder. I just normally extract to the same folder, and then I copy it over. Um, Let's just wait for it. You can of course extract directly into the X Rumor folder, but for me it's I find this way easier. Okay, so this is all the files that are extracted. We just copy everything. We go to my X Rumor install, which is here, and we just uh, paste and overwrite everything. Replace all the files. Okay, so that's that's it. X X, uh, we are done with this tune with this now. X X rumor has been updated, but I'm not really gonna use X rumor anymore, as I'm just gonna use X evil. But to do X evil alone, we need the X off. X evil takes quite a bit of the sources, especially when it's checking for the license and authorizing X evil. They use over 400 megabyte of memory. So this new X off. Let's let's um, let's install X Evil first. Uh, X Evil six beta, and I'm just going to overwrite my existing install. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we just over uh, click on setup. Uh, we execute this file. You might get a warning. We just click run anyway. And. Um, we just wait for it. Where is it now? Oh, there you go. And uh, we'll ask you what language. Okay, and click next. Okay, and it will install to my existing folder, which is my C drive. I have X evil, you say yes. And um, begin install. And now it's removing old stuff and adding new stuff, updating everything. 
Okay, finish installed. So, what I like to do is um, go to the file location, and I want to make sure this is running as properties as an administrator. Okay, so it's already as administrator because it overwrite within my previous install. So that's good. Okay, so next we can start it now, but we. If I start it now, it will say X, X, there's no X rumor is not running. Okay, so we can remove that X evil that's finished now. And next is the X all fee. So this is going to replace X rumor for the authorization. So again, extract all, and you can extract this whole folder to C drive, or the easiest just extract it in the same place here, like that. Go back again, and then you take this folder that you just extracted, click cut, go to C drive, and I just paste it in there, and then go open the folder, and make this to run as an administrator as well, even though I'm locked in as an administrator, I, by habit, just go and set it in here as well. Okay, and I want the shortcut on the desktop. We click send to desktop create a shortcut there you go on my desktop so please close this we're done so now before you start um, your X evil you need to lock into this X off now so we start that and if you see this just click more info and run anyway Okay, so this is what this is basically the whole program you see here. X off. So all you need to do here now is um, enter your detail, your login detail for Botmaster. If you have more than one account, then this is the account uh, for this that you want to license this with. You enter your same details as you were logging to to Botmaster Labs account. Click authorize, and if I entered everything correctly, it should then now display a new window. So it's just authorizing, checking my license, and then um, that's it. Now it will show you my. All the machines that's locked in under my license at the moment. It says I've got three locked, three three machines running uh, on the moment with my license, and that's it. You can move this now out of the way. I'll just leave it here. So now you can start your brand new spanking X Evil uh, Beta Six, and if we open it. You will now see the authorization and it's authorized already now. Authorization successful and we don't have X rumor running anyway. So let's see what is new in here. The first and the main thing that's new is uh, proxies. Uh, sorry, the, the recapture solving. You now have the happy capture option for proxies. So the happy capture or H capture. Um, these cannot use the X Evil proxies you buy from Asia Virtual Solutions or IPv6 proxies. This have to be the same proxies you use uh, in GSA IPv4 proxies. So you can uh, get those from Asia Virtual Solutions as well, just the normal proxies. Um, and then you select say HTTP. You download, say, your proxies to the desktop in a file, and then you just browse to wherever your box file is with the proxies. I'm not sure yet if it uh, accepts a user uh, password authorization or it only works by IP uh, authorization. So I've asked Botmaster, but we need to wait for his reply. But for the moment, just test it with the user password proxies I think it should work um, and that's for a happy capture um, 
GSA users, I don't think you're going to see almost any any request for Happy Capture because I've been running it for a day now and I haven't got one so far on my big list. So you only need a few proxies. Uh, if you're not uh, start with, I would say twenty proxies only. Uh, Hundred is good, but I would say also use um, uh, dedicated proxies. Uh, not not too many star because you will see there's not many happy capture uh, in the beginning. The most will be on the RC. RC is for recapture. This you use the X Evil uh, IPv6 proxies. Uh, the link is below the video here, which is uh, much more budget friendly. So most people will usually need 50 to maybe 100 threads. Um, for solving. If you're a real serious uh, user and you have a very powerful machine, yeah, then you need 200 and up proxies. But for average user that just got a couple of projects in GSA, um, you don't need more than 50 to 100 uh, threads. This is X Evil threads, not GSA threads. Okay, and uh, all will just be if you want to use one thing for all of them. Okay, if you want to use RC and HCR to use the same proxy, then you fill that uh, in here. So this is what's new, the, the, these three options for proxies. I think they're separated because the H capture uh, used the IPv4, which is quite expensive. So 90% of the people will still be using the R the recapture so they kept uh, that to work with IPv4. Uh, another thing that is new is um, when you start it now you will see by default you see as soon as you use an external IP it will automatically enable the this uh, to use the, the, the API key um, so if you have, um, if you're using a uh, X evil say on your on the same machine that you're using this A, and you don't have you don't have people connecting to you from outside, then you should shouldn't use the external IP, but uh, the internal IP. Then you can turn this off, but uh, you will not be able to turn it off if you use an external IP so people connect to you so you see now it automatically enables itself and you cannot, if you try to turn it off you get this warning sign okay, and uh, it won't turn off so if, if you do use external, say your X evil is on a different uh, machine than where you're running your GSA, then you just copy this and fill it in with ask for the API key uh, when you enabled it in GSA capture breaker at uh, GSA search engine ranker. But for this VPS, let me see, I don't have GSA running on this machine now. Um, okay, but uh, X evil and uh, GSA. Go to Capture Solvers, you click Add Capture Solver, you select X Evil. It will ask you for a host name, which is the, the, the IP here with a port. And it will ask you for API key and you just paste this key then in there. You can generate as, uh, the different ones if you don't want the default one here. Alternatively on this server, I'm just going to use uh, local uh, solving no external solving uh, in that case I can disable that and there's no warning okay what else is new um, I suggest that if you look at a course uh, I, I would uh, check the second one and uncheck the first one the reason is because the second one contain exactly the same as number one but the additional capture types as well. The rest, unless you know you're specifically using 
uh, uh, one of these, then you enable them or disable them. Uh, so you should don't enable all. That will cause more problems than it could and it will fail a lot. Um, have a look and uh, see if you're just creating specific accounts and you just enable that specific account. But for GSA so, uh, PIP users, SEO, um, Autopilot, Ranker X, the second one is more than, uh, second one is more than uh, enough for you. And then when you change, it will ask you to restart, apply and save. And then you will show you restart. So when you restart, it automatically now will re-authorize because you have your off, off running here and see it's connected already. So it's much faster to authorize than when you were using uh, XRumor. So now enable AP key is disabled. Yeah, that's basically it. And the options, just, um, all of them is uninstalled by just click restore defaults. And you can also check this, then it won't run the, the, the lock fire, the lock uh, all the time. So this is the optimal. You can just click save for that and that's it. You're off to the races now. Uh, statistics, I normally just uncheck everything except that first one. And that's how you install um, X-Evil uh, beta 6 version 1 and uh, off x off okay so have fun and uh, uh, I, I leave for you the link below for uh, the x evil proxies uh, that you can use with the recapture solving thanks and uh, have a good day